What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bonzi Blue, and I am coming back for another Black in Crew Chicago review, bitch. Okay, it got even more extremely crazy this episode. Even more extremely crazy. You bitches are tripping. You niggas need therapy, okay? Like, there's so much going on. Let's just get started. Okay. Forrest Charmaine are at the shop, the glass is getting fixed, and they're defending Van. Okay, Ryan comes in, you know, and he's like, I see that that glass got fixed. I guess Van must have paid to get the, the glass fixed. Or maybe Four and Charmaine pulled their money together. I don't know, bitch. All I know is the glass got fixed, okay? And I also know that Four's explanation of you changed the locks he broke the glass i mean that's just how the cookie crumbles dude sir that is not how shit works if you did that anywhere except nine mag you go to jail you'll be back clink clink what i saying you my nigga you you back in jail yes if this was anybody else and that's when i feel like y'all are taking advantage like a motherfucker okay and charmaine and four i feel like the only first of all four never seems to have his own mind okay let's just get that straight okay four is one of the most go with the flow ass niggas i've ever seen however the closest person in the room to me is feeling that's how i feel that's generally his attitude. And Charmaine, you just mad because your fucking cousin ain't there to kick it and shoot the shit with you no more, okay? And at the end of the day, bitch, you can't always work with your friends, okay? Not in the real world, ho. Ryan says, fuck that. Van ain't welcome. Get over it, bitch. Get over it, okay? So Ashley and Diane decide that they need to go to church, okay? Because as far as Ashley is concerned, only Jesus can fix. Don's anger issues. And I feel like, bitch, on therapy, God has created doctors. <laughs> okay? I mean, I'm just saying, like, realistic shit. And the reason, and I'm not saying, like, non realistic, like, you know, God isn't realistic for some people. For some people, God works. But for other people, they just need plain common sense English spoken to them in a way that they can understand. He was uncomfortable when they went and had counseling with the preacher because he was like, I ain't know he was going to do all of this. And then when he got there, you know, she's like, so wait, hold up, Don. Are you a Christian? Do you consider yourself a Christian? He's like, no, not really. He wasn't raised in a Christian household. They didn't go to church in his house So he doesn't know anything about that life And the fact that y'all two have been together all of this time And never had this conversation Baffles me Okay Me and Lyric have had this conversation many a time Before we got married Okay Because we are different different denominations But at the end of the day we believe in a higher power Han is not on a journey He's just open to whatever is going to make his wife shut the fuck up So he's going to go along with it But the fact that they have never had that conversation before just shows the immaturity. You have to make sure you are equally yoked. Charmaine has her 70 skate party to celebrate her 27th birthday. Everybody's supposed to be there on and popping, okay? Everybody's supposed to be there. The only person that can't come is Van is because he has to take his little sister to a game or some shit like that, a baseball game, some shit I can't remember. Either way, you guys, everybody's dressed in afros and shiny shoes, uh, shiny shoes. <laughs> shiny shirt uh shirts long sleeve you know like disco uh print shirts psychedelic -y and shit with the tight ass bell bottoms on and the mustache the shit was hilarious the only person that had the black power 70s was dying with the dashiki on and i was like yes brother yes <laughs> anyway you guys so yeah everybody's there at the party they're having a good time and when ryan walks up to the table danielle does not give it a fucking second so i heard the shop falling apart bitch <laughs> okay see that's you know why that's because everybody that built nine mad with you is gone now everybody we are all saying it okay you are a tyrant okay and nine mag is not just yours ryan is like who gonna tell me it ain't you got me fucked up so he just storms out okay and me and my husband watching this and i'm like rachel i know you chill as fuck girl but see me and then y'all would have would had to have a conversation i'd have been like okay hold on hold on <laughs> i understand that this is some work shit but right now we're at an event for a friend and so what i'm gonna do is say that i need for you to stop building in my man like that because if you don't then i'm gonna have to step in because we ain't at work 
okay? And if I have to step in you get your ass beat, what are you saying? So I'm gonna just need for you to, you know, just calm down. Just calm down and back up, you know, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, show some respect for the fact that I am here and there's somebody that can fight on his behalf, <laughs> okay? Just calm down, Danielle. I just, I just feel like Danielle is always, they're all entitled little bitches, okay? They're all entitled little bitches, and I know they're gonna work it out eventually, but that does not excuse how they are acting right now. Oh my God, the sheer goal of you to tell this man what he can do with his business and that it is not all his. Bitch, somebody show me some paperwork that says that this is not all his. Somebody let me know. Somebody tell me something. I'm not about to keep making assumptions on y'all part. This is just fucking crazy at this point. Okay, they have this big blowout. Ryan storms out and then the next day he's in Philly doing his convention. Okay. Cobra is there and, and sees him there. Sees was there too. And he took Junior with him because Junior was the only one that was supporting him and trying to take control of his fucking shot from all these crazy people, okay? And he's there with, you know, and then Cobra wants to speak to him. And apparently when her father died a month ago, he, you know, called her. And she said that it meant a lot to her that he did call and reach out to her because it was tough and she started to cry and shit. And... He said, you know, I'm going to always look out like that. He was like, I know it didn't end well and all of that, but, you know, I felt like I should do that. So, they're not on good terms. And he needs help tattooing, so he asked her to come back there and help him tattoo. And so, of course, he brings her back to the shop. But before he brings her back to the shop, he sees a video of four Van and Danielle on, you know, Snapchat doing this shit, trying to show him that they're all at the shop. Yeah, y'all. These motherfuckers went to the shop, terrorized the new receptionist, talked to a sunbag, went off on her. Charmaine even had to intervene and say, come on, y'all. She is the receptionist. She's just trying to do her job. Take y'all anger out on Ryan. Well, Danielle wouldn't stop talking about the girl's kitty ears. And I'm just like, what is the big fucking deal? Bitches wear cat ears all the time. Josie and a motherfucking pussycat, bitch. Walking up in this bitch with a jean furrow on. Shut the fuck up, Danielle. Okay? With your rough edges, okay? Like with your straight hair and your thick edges. Like, bitches, stop it. Stop it. There is so much to review about, bitch. So much to review about. I can review about the this proportionateness of your body and how you don't see that when you guys wear these terribly tight dresses any of you bitches Charmaine included standing there and I was like what the fuck like it's so weird we just got guts and we don't give a fuck right like, they tell Rise's girl so much Danielle tells her that she should take the trash out on her way out bitch okay so she says oh you want me to take the trash out on my way out okay she goes and picked up the garbage can and put all the trash on the fucking ground and say here you go bitch I quit and I was like I like that. I like that. That that was deserving. That was deserving. I feel like that's what should have happened. And y'all, you bitch. Okay, go come and try to terrorize that girl for that fucking job. Talking about, I don't need Ryan to give me my job back. I can just take it. Van sitting up there talking about, you better watch yourself, girl. What the fuck you gonna do? You gonna hit her? She a female. You gonna hit her, man? Your big fucking ass gonna lay hands on that girl? Seriously? Man, somebody should fucking lay your dumb ass out right now. I cannot take this shit. When Ryan comes back, Charmaine talking about them same raggedy ass fucking sunglasses that she said cost $250 when you couldn't pay your motherfucking car note. You had $250 to spend on some motherfucking sunglasses, bitch. For real? For real? Okay? I'm just saying, if Cobra did steal them, we don't know if she stole them or not. But at the end of the day, bitch, you petty as fuck. So they start to fight, okay? I mean, just all general purposes, these hoes start to fight. They broke the shit up. Her little nail was broken, bleeding and shit. And that's what you get, bitch, because you know you're not a fighter. Calm your dumb ass down, okay? You just mad because they bringing somebody in that you don't like, all right? You trying to bring the click back and all of that, but the click is motherfucking disrespectful, okay? And like Rachel said, fuck them, girl. Fuck them, okay? Like, <laughs> I agree with Rachel. That's what I would tell my man if he had some people that he employed that he was helping and had them disrespect him and fuck over him like y'all do. Y'all some disrespectful little bitches. I can't deal, y'all. I cannot fucking deal to show up in his shop like whatever, nigga. Like, really? Really? And all right, I want to know is why these motherfuckers in the shop. Can't nobody tell them why. And that was basically the end of the episode.
I'm so exhausted with these fucking people. I can't believe y'all. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I love y'all. <laughs> and I'll see y'all in the next one. Pray for 9 Mag, bitch. Oh my mama. Oh my who. I look for